Alterations in the document showed Meghan dropped her first name in favor of her royal titles. In addition to Harry adding Prince to his printed name. But after palace sources attempted to claim the birth certificate changes were due to clerical error, a spokesman for the Duke and Duchess rebuked the insiders and said the palace dictated the amendments. A spokesman for the Sussexes denied the change was requested by the Duke and Duchess. They said, the change of name on public documents in 2019 was dictated by the palace, as confirmed by documents from senior palace officials. This was not requested by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex nor by the Duke of Sussex. To see this UK tabloid and their carnival of so-called experts chose to deceptively whip this into a calculated family snub and suggest that she would oddly want to be nameless on her child's birth certificate, or any other legal document, would be laughable were it not offensive. Royal sources indicated the palace reacted to the sharp statement with a sense of bewilderment. Speaking to the Daily Mirror, an aide suggested the statement was somewhat unfortunate, in tone, and added, there is no set protocol with these things. The language used suggesting it was the palace who dictated it is somewhat unfortunate, as it certainly wasnt addressed like that. The statement and its wording poses more questions than it answers unfortunately. One insider told the paper Meghan ordered the changes to Archie's birth certificate, to fall in line with amendments Shed already made to her passport. Experts had previously suggested the name change on Archie's birth certificate was a snub to Prince William and Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge. Lady Colin Campbell, who spotted the amendment, said, It is extraordinary and raises all kinds of questions about what the Sussexes were thinking. Quote.